We are ready to start the service. Say to all the people who look on YouTube, all the members, all the prayer partners, God is good. And He's good all the time and whatever He does is good. Whatever the devil does will have an impact and an effect on the people. But my Bible says, which is God's word unto us, that when the enemy comes in, like a flood, the Lord will raise a standard. You can say to your wife, you can say to your spouse, you can say to your children, the flood of the Lord is severe. The flood of the Lord is far more severe than the flood of the enemy. The storm of the Lord is far more powerful than the storm of the world and the storm of the devil. Whatever the devil does, God will always raise a standard. And the standard of God is always amazing, full of God's glory, full of God's power, and will always overcome, overwhelm, and destroy the work of the devil. As long as God finds people on the earth who believe. Jesus said, when I come back, will I still find faith? Now, when, come, when Jesus comes with your promise, will he still find faith with you? When your children get saved, whom you prayed for such a long time, will God still find you in faith when he comes to save your children? When your children get saved today, will you be tired? Will you be found in faith? Or will, will you be found faithless? Remember this one thing, that God will never make a promise, and that promise will be broken. He will never be called for eternity like I told you before. Never ever will he be called a promise breaker. When God makes a promise, through prophecy, through scripture, through dreams, through visions, God will keep that promise. But the question is this, will Jesus find faith when he comes back to you? When, he will, when will he find faith when he comes back to the earth? Now this specific scripture, and we know that all scripture is at least threefold. Now, this specific scripture is, is speaking there about at the persecution of the Antichrist when he persecuted the Jews and he persecuted the Christians severely on the face of the earth. And then it says the people will look for God, they will look here, they will look there, and they will wonder where he is. And then Jesus said, will he find faith when he comes to this earth? But the same scripture speaks threefold. You pray for your family member to be saved. You pray for your child to be saved. You pray for your daughter to be saved. You pray for your father to be saved. Do not give up hope. May God find you in faith when he comes with that promise. Because if he doesn't find you in faith, you will not experience the joy of your family member being saved. Or you pray for financial breakthrough. And you know that God will bring you this breakthrough. And you suffer for quite some time. And you suffer with your finances. And your finances doesn't seem to work out. Although... There's always food on your table. You always pay the bills. But it seems like you're struggling very much. And you wait and you wait and you get tired of praying and you get tired of standing in faith. But eventually your promise will come. You will not enjoy your financial breakthrough in the, in the real, to the full, full extent that God wants you to enjoy it if he doesn't find you in faith. God is not a promise breaker. He's a promise keeper. And when he comes with your promise, may he find you in faith. Only God. Can, his God and His grace can help you to stay in faith in Jesus' name. Let us pray together. Everyone pray with me. Lord God of heaven, when you come to me with my promise, I pray that you will find me in faith. Grant me this grace and empower me that I will stay in faith and I will not give up in faith in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. You can say to your neighbor, you can say to your spouse, or your family members, whoever is with you, you can say to them, it is better to die in faith than living on an unbelief. I also want us to pray this prayer this morning. Pray with me, Lord God of heaven, take more of me and give me more of you. Surely I must decrease and you must increase. Lord God of heaven, lead me not into temptation, but deliver me of the evil one. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me of the evil one in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, it is your name in which we trust. It is your name and your words that we know contain eternal life. Like Peter said to you, Lord, how can we leave you? You got the words of eternal life. We say the same this morning, Lord Jesus. How can we ever leave you? You got the words of eternal life. And we know wherever we listen to your words and wherever your words is encouraging us, you will not leave us without an answer, without a solution. Because there's power in your words, there's salvation in your words, there's a future in your words, 
There's protection in your words, and there's prosperity in your words. So, Lord Jesus, we pray that you will find us in faith in the name of Jesus, that our faith will never give up on us, but you will sustain our faith in Jesus' name. And when we fall, O Lord, we pray that you lift us up again, like you lifted up the apostles after they denied you and all fled their own way and went back to their previous professions. Lord Jesus, leave us never without faith, but let your grace sustain us in Jesus' name. Grant us this grace that we will overcome. And we believe your words this morning where you said that we, will over, that we are more than conquerors through your name, Jesus, who strengthen us. We pray this morning that your name will strengthen us, that your name will enable us, that your name will give us the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone say, Amen. I hear your amens. God is good. Give him a great hand. Amen.